Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Lizard Boy here. Um, sorry that I haven't been doing quite much videos lately, though, because I've been busy with work. But now that I'm finally back again, I finally get to do more, put more videos out, though. I definitely need to get more out, though, guys. I'm so sorry, though. But for today's video, I thought I'd do a little, um, something a little random, though. But this is going to be my top six favorite Funko Pops that I have in my collection right now. Yes, yeah, I got a little bit of a Funko Pop collection going on right now, and this is my very top six, because right now I only have six. But, um, I did get myself another one, but I'm going to save a special that special one for you guys later in another video I'm going to make. So let's begin this up. Uh, <clears throat> let's begin for this top list. So for, for, for number six, I'm going with the Deadpool Chimichanga food truck, which is, it's pretty awesome. I mean, it's not bad. Why, why are you asking why this is number six? Um, I mean, I love Deadpool. It comes with a pop. The truck, uh, it's not that bad of a feature, though. Um, I mean, you can see the designs, the menus. There it is. And you got Deadpool. He can actually come out, though, which I didn't know that, though. But he just takes a little bit. For a Funko Pop, you, I mean, you expect these small kind of things, though. But, like, this thing takes up a lot of room. And, I mean, I got this as a Christmas gift. Which is... I mean, it's not that bad, though. I, mean, I still think it's pretty cool. I just wish the wheels would move, though. I think that would be a little bit more cooler, though, but... Takes up a little bit of room just for a pretty big size Funko Pop. Um, it's not bad though. I like it. All right, for my number five, this one has to be. I mean, I know this is why this is number five, but this is my personal favorite. But this is the kind of a tricky one though. Probably have to be the storm. Yeah, this number five had to be the stormtrooper. Yeah, I know you're probably thinking, why is number five stormtrooper? I mean, it's a bobblehead. This is the only one they could have though. But I don't like bobbleheads that much because they could get broken though because of the wire that's inside. And if you guys can tell right there, yeah. I mean, and you can pop it off the stand like that, which is pretty nice. I think it's pretty cool. I mean, it's just a standardized Stormtrooper. I mean, it does look a little weird, though, for the face, though. I mean, this is why he's number five, because it's a bobblehead. I'm not a really big fan of bobbleheads. But, um... Yeah, but that's number five. All right, for number four, we have the, the standardized Deadpool Funko Pop. Again, this is a bobblehead, but it's Deadpool. How can you not like love Deadpool though? It's still freaking amazing. Um, for him, I mean, you can tell he's got his sore his katana. Sorry for that. A uh. I forgot what type of gun that is, though, that he uses, though. But, yeah, it's just a bobblehead. I'm not a fan of bobbleheads again, though, but this is the only Funko Pop they actually had that I could find. But it's pretty cool. He's got his other guns right there. And he's really well detailed for Deadpool, though, which is pretty cool. I mean, I like it. I I enjoy it, though. Deadpool, the movie was great. The Funko Pop's good. And... Yeah, for Deadpool. Alright, for number three... This one... Uh, if you guys... This is more like an NFL Funko Pop, which is pretty cool that they came out with NFL ones. But he's my per personal favorite quarterback ever. Which is the... 
Andrew Luck of the Indianapolis Colts Funko Pop, which I thought was the coolest thing ever. And the helmet even comes off. If I can get it off. Yeah. All of his gloriness of his beard. Back. It's hard, kind of hard to tell, guys, because... Yeah, it actually says luck on it, which is pretty cool. And he actually has a little NFL football right there. The helmet comes off, which is pretty cool. I mean, he's probably number three because... I mean, it's NFL. You don't really don't see NFL Funko Pops at all, though, which is kind of weird they make them now. But it's still pretty cool. I mean, this is my favorite team of all time, though. And some of you NFL people out there, I'm pretty sure you're looking at me like, what? But it's pretty cool. I mean, that they make NFL Funko Pops, and this is the only Colts one they had was the Andrew Luck one, which is... Can't remember how much I got him for. But he's pretty nice. Still one of my absolute favorites, which is he's number three, I know why. <laughs> Let me see if I can get his helmet back on. Yeah, and his helmet. Oops. Which is still pretty cool that he comes with a helmet though that comes on and off. Alright, for number two. I know you guys are probably thinking, why is this number two, though, not your number one? I mean, trust me, guys. Number one, it'll be a surprise. For number two will be the Darth Vader Funko Pop. I mean, Darth Vader is one of my favorite Star Wars characters out of everyone. And I know you're probably thinking, why is number three Andrew Luck and not the Stormtrooper? It's because Stormtroopers, there's like a whole bunch of them in the Star Wars universe. But it's still cool. But this Darth Vader, he has his lightsaber. And he is a Funko Pop, but like, it's Darth Vader. How can you not like him? And he also comes off his stand. Just like that. It's pretty nice. I mean, he has a little, his head's a little twisted because he is a bobblehead again. And I have seen some different ones, though, where he's got different poses. They actually have one where he actually doesn't have his helmet on, which is Anakin Skywalker, which is pretty cool. But Darth Vader is one of my favorites. You see his cape. Star Wars ran the bottom right there, which is pretty cool. But I recommend guys to pick this guy up if you guys are a big fan of Star Wars. Get this guy. He's awesome. And for the number one Funko Pop that is my absolute favorite. And I know you're probably thinking, what is it though? Or some of you might already know what it is. Give a little hint. Is the Funko Pop Godzilla. Yes, it is the Godzilla Funko Pop. Which is pretty around the large series. I don't know how many inches it is. I'm going to say six or five or more than that. Probably I'm, I'm so wrong. Sorry. But he's not that much. I mean, his arms don't move. His head moves. But it's Godzilla. Come on, guys. Like, it's Godzilla. I am a little worried. Uh, well, not worried. Um, it's kind of weird about the lips. If you see the redness on the lips, it's kind of painted weird. Around his mouth, which I really don't like, which is weird, but it's still good. Dorsal plate's good. I think it's supposed to be the um, the 54 Godzilla that they try to use. Which is awesome. I'm hoping to get the Burning Godzilla one. They actually have a Burning Godzilla one, which I really want to get. The tail is kind of curved. I kind of wish the tail was sticking out this way. I said just this. Feet are big though, I don't understand why. But this still is one of my favorite Funko Pops, and I know you guys probably understand why. They still want to. It's just still cool though. Alright, guys, that is my list for my top six favorite Funko Pops, so. And I will begin more of those pretty soon, though. I will be doing a, a special one. I got one that is coming through pretty soon, I believe. I will do a review on that, and I will do an unboxing for that, because that one's going to be very special, though. 
I will do another maybe top that another list on that that one. But well, thank you guys so much for watching. Sorry about the lack of the videos, but I will give give back to them soon though. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys hit that like button though. Subscribe today if you guys want to or not. I don't care. But thank you guys so much for watching though. Um, take care. Bye.